Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap Basics theme here. We created this pricing page and these pricing tables in our last videos. What I'm going to do is get rid of these two sections right here that are left over from when we copied the page over. And we're going to finish off this page by putting a partner strip in bit like our gallery here but we're going to use some partner logos so let's get started if we open our bracket software I'll just show you what's going on if you haven't been following along we built this site here's our folder we created to house our site files the root folder inside we created the index which is the home page the about.html, the about page, and the pricing.html, which is the page we're working on at the moment. I'm going to open the pricing page with our text editor right here. Brackets is an absolutely free text editor. If you don't have one, you can download this one from a link below. Like I say, it's absolutely free and has some great features. If you do have a text editor, that's fine. Any text editor will do. So let's get these last two sections. This is that one that we used before the gallery. And here's the blue section. We don't need either of those. And let's start from scratch. Let's save that, go back to the site. Move that one out of the way. When I refresh, this, this section and the blue section should have disappeared. There we go, go straight down the footer. Okay, so we're going to add a section between our pricing tables and our footer section here with some sort of partner logos, if you will. And we're going to make it a full width section. So I'm not going to put it inside a container. And as Bootstrap, we mentioned before, is made out, the viewable area is made out of 12 columns. If we want 6, which is what we want, we've got to divide 12 by 6, which is 2. So let's do that and make six columns of two all right let's start a new section i'm not going to give it an id just now i don't think i'll want to scroll to this and inside our section let's create a div And what I'll do is I'll give it our gap 100, which if you don't remember is CSS class we created, which gives 70 pixels padding top and bottom. And just to show you, let's go to our custom CSS and up to spacing and it will be gap 100. There we are, gap 100, padding top and bottom 70, left and right zero. So that's why we're putting that in there to create a gap. Okay, so we've got a section with a gap. What we need to do is now create a row inside this section so we'll start a new div and we'll give it the class of row and within that row we can start creating our little columns for our partner logos now I'm just going to do one at first and I'll copy over when I've decided it's looking right here's our folder here's the folder I've been using with the current images in there. I'm going to add some more for our partner logos. There we go, and I've just added some partner logo images here. I've made them all the same size. They're about 300 wide by 150 tall. It doesn't matter really what size you make them because we're, making, we're going to make them fluid or responsive, but they all want to be the same size to make sure they're going to look good on the page. So there's our images, and it's L1 through L6. Okay, now we've got the images. Let's create a new div for our images. 
and we want to make it like I said earlier on column class equals column or col mid I don't think we wanted to make it two because we've got six of them wasn't it what I could also do is I could give this the class we created a little class with some padding called pick we might want to put that in there we'll see let's put our image in here so it's image where is the image it's source equals well it's in our image folder IMG I could click on that link there it take me right there and it's L1 is the first one we want and it's an image so it's got to have an alt tag just call it partner logo and we'll also give it want to give it a class of fluid so it takes up the available space there image fluid so it'll be responsive image will resize to whatever the size of the available container is which in our case is a column of mid two all right let's close out that logo or well, let's close out that image I should say and have a look at what we've got here and refresh and there it is down the bottom there's our first logo okay I think that's gonna work fine let's take it out one sixth as you can see there's no container so it's full width let's go and go ahead and add our other five images let's go back to our brackets text editor now here's our columns we need another five of these if you click on the opening one it will show you the closing one so you need to select the opening to the closing inclusive control C to copy so that's number one two three four five six one two three four five six there we go change our image names L1 L2 three four five and last but not least number six and like we've shown before with brackets if you put an image in roll over it it'll preview it for you so let's save that control s and have a look see what we've got here back to the site and refresh there we have it there is our little partners logo strip of course you could link these to their websites if you wanted to by wrapping them in some hrefs or a tags but i think i'm going to leave that just exactly like it is so short and sweet video there there's how to add a little partners logo strip to the bottom of your pricing page well i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discount for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech thanks for watching have a great day